by the power of Grayskull. I have the power! Mom, he's doing it again. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be checking out, oh my goodness, the one-to-one -one prop replica He-Man Power Sword from the folks over at Factory Entertainment. Yes, one-to-one. -one. This is a life-size sword of power. This is insane. I've been struggling with trying to figure out the best way to shoot this so that I could get the whole thing on camera here, but uh, we'll make sure we get some good shots for you guys so you can check this out because I think the important thing is seeing me holding it too, right? First of all, I just want to say how cool of an idea I think this is. Um, you know, dating back to when I was a kid, my mom still loves telling stories about how I used to run around the house with my little yellow plastic He-Man power sword tucked in the back of my shirt, pulling it out as I ran down the hallway to scream by the power of Grayskull. And now, I can do it again! I have a me-sized power sword, um, but this is really cool. I've always wanted an official replica of He-Man's power sword. Um, the folks at Factory Entertainment were kind enough to send me the prototype. So this is not out yet. It is only available for pre-order. So what I'm showing you guys here today is just a prototype. I do actually have to return this to Factory Entertainment uh, when I'm through with this video, but I do appreciate them allowing me this opportunity because this will give us a good look at this uh, while the ordering window is still open. So hopefully you guys can make a decision on if this is something that you want to spend your money on, because I will tell you it's not cheap. Uh, the retail price on this is $599. So it's about a $600 item, uh, depending on where you buy it from. I've seen it go as high as $650 as well. So it's expensive, but it's because it's a quality made, like real prop replica. The entire sword uh, measures 40 inches long. We'll back up so I can get a good shot of it here. Uh, you can see just just how big this is. I was blown away by the size of it. I mean, just look how big the hilt is. It's bigger than my head. It is huge. Um, it is also very heavy. I was shocked when I picked this thing up. Like, you need to be a He-Man to be able to swing this thing in battle uh, because I can clearly tell that I need to work out because I feel like my arm is shaking when I hold this one-handed with my non-dominant hand here. Um, it is uh, a little over seven pounds. I put it on the scale scale and it came up to over a little a little over seven pounds most of the weight is right here in this area too this is all solid metal um it is very very heavy so the entire sword is a uh, metal and real leather you can see there's leather wrapped around the handle here. Uh, one of the things that Factory Entertainment wanted me to know is that since this is a prototype, the leather is black. The final release will have brown leather here. So it will be brown instead of black. This is just sample so that they can test out the leather wrap on there. But that feels real nice. I mean, it's awesome. It's very, very cool. And I love the detailing on this. Um, the blade is stainless steel. So it's very nice. You can see there's no like wobble to it. It's very sturdy. It's built really, really well. And one of the things that I like is how the stainless steel blade is very reflective and shiny while the actual hilt down here on the handle is much more of like a flat grayish color, a flat silver. Um, it's a really nice two-tone look that I think is very flashy. Looks very, very nice. Um, there's also some really great detail kind of worked into this here um, where you can see it's got like just a good texture to it um, which really brings it out so it's not just like a straight clean metal all the way through um, the blade is the nice smooth shiny stainless steel surface it is very cool you can see the bottom of it as well also has a bit more of a shine to it than the uh, hilt up here the handle and everything so it is very very nice um 
It is modeled after the original toy design. Now, He-Man's sword is similar throughout all media, but there are some slight changes to it. Obviously, the Filmation one uh, is a bit thinner, has a bit more angles going on. So this is inspired more by the actual Mattel action figure power sword. So it's a little wider. Um, it's just one sword. It doesn't split in two. How cool would that be, though? Oh, my God. Could you imagine if they made, like, a purple half and a silver half that we could put together somehow? I'm... I'm just getting crazy now. That's too too much. But this is amazing uh, the way it is. Uh, honestly, I'm really impressed with this. Now, I, I don't really buy prop replicas or weapons stuff like this. Um, but obviously, He-Man's power sword or anything from Masters of the Universe is appealing to me. And something that I absolutely would consider. Um, so this is very, very nice. And I've actually had a lot of fun with this. I mean, just being able to hold this thing and like raise it, hold it aloft... Of course I ran around saying by the power of Grayskull, right? I didn't just do it for that bit in the beginning. Like, you can't pick this up and not just want to do that. And then, of course, the classic, I have the power. I mean, it's, it is really cool holding this. It just makes you feel cool. It makes you feel powerful. So it's worth mentioning that one of the other things that comes with this will be a little wall plaque so that you can mount this and hang it on the wall. Uh, again, this is just prototype. In fact, they... They've got like a sticky note on here saying that they had like a paint test, so there's scratches on it. And we're supposed to ignore this because this is all just sample stuff. Uh, but it's just, uh, it looks like it's wood. You can see the back of it here. It will be numbered. So it'll be, you'll have an addition number there. It'll be hand numbered. You've got a uh, nice area so that you can mount this on the wall. It is just a round piece of wood that's painted to sort of look like He-Man shield. Um, it's not super elaborate. And I guess it doesn't have to be since it's just a mount to hang this up on the wall. It would have been cool if this was actually detailed, like, you know with more of a 3d look to it so it was more like a shield but again maybe i'm asking for too much i don't know uh but it does you know come with the the little brackets uh nice little rubber tips on the end so it won't damage things so that'll those will screw into here i don't want to put this this is all just a prototype um so we can you'd be able to attach those and then those would fit of course across the power sword to hang it up on your wall and it would look something like that so obviously that's probably the way I and many others would want to store this thing. It's very heavy. Um, so you're definitely going to want to make sure you get a nice stud in the wall when you mount this. Don't put this on drywall or anything. That's going to rip it right down. But uh, I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. You all have action figure collections. You've probably hung shelves before. You know what you're doing. So since this is just a prototype, I also didn't get the packaging. This is going to come in like a really big, uh, nice like retail box that looks kind of like with the Grayskull bricks and everything. You can see photos of it when you go to actually order it or if you want to look up the order information. Um, so that's how it will come to you. And then you'll get this and that uh, wall mountable stand within that box so that you can display it as well. Um, it's really, really cool. Now, I'll be perfectly honest. $600 is a lot of money. And it's definitely going to be out of reach for folks. Um, you know, not everybody's going to want to spend that money to get it. But if you are somebody who enjoys getting prop replicas, you like prop weapons, uh, you're looking to spend that kind of money to get something, I think this is really, really nice. Um, like I said, I, I, the price, I understand because it's all metal and real leather. It's very heavy. This is quality made. So, you know, it's it's much different than like the, uh, the, like the generic type of swords that you find. Plus it's licensed. The licensed stuff, that will add to the money and the cost as well. So definitely something worth checking out if you're into this sort of thing. Uh, I think it's extremely cool. Uh, I do have to give a very special thanks to the folks at Factory Entertainment for sending me the prototype and allowing me to get a good look at it here in this video. Uh, I really appreciate it. And hopefully this will help you guys make a decision on if this is something that you want to add to your collection. Until next time and... Let the power return. You're laughing too much. I know. Okay.